Hello, it's Val. Welcome to my little main cottage. Um, I've got another uh, junk journal share for you, but this time I learned my lesson from uh, my last video that I made, my last uh, junk journal flip through to show the little extra piece before because I got to the end of my video and thankfully I remembered to show it, but Anyway, this time I'm going to do it first. So this junk journal comes with this um, little notepad that I collaged both sides. And of course, I forgot to tell you last time, I sealed these. So they're, they're great to throw into a purse or a pocket or glove compartment or wherever. And this has got 1910 piece of ledger in the inside. And this is 19... Whoops. 1915. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay, very good. And the pages are all perforated. So anyway, that, that goes with field notes. A new journal that I have ready to go. It's been listed on my Etsy when you're watching this. So uh, this journal is, <laughs> I wrote down uh, what it weighed. I couldn't read my writing because it had been a while since I wrote it all down. And um, it looked like I, it wrote, I wrote 11 pounds. And I thought, I don't recall making an 11 pound journal. It, I just couldn't read my writing. It was one pound and six ounces. It's just a little bit under six ounces. But anyway, that's the spine. Comes with a little pencil that I covered with some paper and the back and I'm looking at it to see if there's any vintage cloth on this. I think it's just vintage style cloth. There isn't any antique or vintage cloth on the exterior of this. It's all modern, but of course in the vintage style. So I, I made this little charm, bunches of little bits and pieces to go on the front. Since it was field notes, I wanted to um, kind of do little charms and things that represented what it would be like to collect little bits and pieces for a field notes journal. And it even says here, this is, I think this is Tim Holtz, says, I don't know if you can see that, it says noted. And it's got a little button. I have had this button for eons. Um, and it's like, it just worked perfect. I guess it's brass. It might be brass. Just worked perfect for this journal. So it, it found a home. And of course, I, I uh, transferred and hand stamped some little labels and, and put those on there too. All right, well, let's see. This is the top. It's got two signatures. It's got uh, headbands. I'll show you the headbands. And uh, it's got a seam binding closure vintage and there's the bottom and I did I show you the back I think so there you go all right all right let's open this one up let me see if I can get it in frame so you can see what's going on here oh and the charm does come off if it bothers you you can take it off okay there we go all right so it's got a pocket that's been collaged on the front and let me open the back so you can see that it's got a pocket also that's cloth and been collaged on the back all right of course all kinds of goodies and stuff in there um, I'm not going to take them all out but uh, this piece I watched a video who was this oh my goodness Val you can't remember anything can you nope Ah, who was this video from? Oh my goodness, Heather. It was Heather um, from, she's on the design team for Ruby and Pearl. And I forget what her shop is called. I, I might remember it. But anyway, she did this and I had some uh, dried flowers and I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do that. I just love it. So, and I thought it came out really good. So I had to put it in this journal. Uh, I think it's the only one I've made, but anyway, 
Uh, this is just a uh, paper that's been printed. Uh -oh. And this one's got a pocket here. Got some little goodies in this pocket. If I don't hurry up and get through this, I'm gonna have to do part two, so I'm not gonna do that. It's got belly bands, this is vintage. Um, there you go. Let me get through here, I got like four minutes to get through here. This is 1901 ledger. Here's a pocket with two little pieces in there. This is a vintage postcard and a journaling card. I think this is called Irish Lace, but I'm not really sure. But if anybody knows, uh, you know, just put it in the comments. And, um, and oh, and this is um, some of my antique wallpaper. I always support it, but it's I just love how it feels. This is a um, little flip with some new and vintage uh, fabrics. Um, this is a cigarette silk, but there you go. Uh, here's another pocket with goodies in here. Uh, let's see. There you go, another pocket with little things in there. Another little pockets and tucks and all kinds of little things here. Here's a little pocket. This is antique cloth here. A little bag with a well, you'll see what's in there, whoever buys that. And let's see. You get the idea. And here's more things in this tuck. And uh, um, Jessica Rapp did this really cool video years, was it a couple years ago? Maybe. And I made this because I did have one of these that had two signs that I could not uh, figure out which side that I wanted out of the book page and it's like she said well just do this on her video and I thought oh that's a cool idea so I'm gonna do that oh and that also has it's a little pocket there um, this is taken this little charm on the bottom I don't know if you can see that let me hold it up is taken from uh, some antique book page and Here's some more goodies in this one with a cluster. And yeah, this is, um, who did this? Sharon Hearth, how do you say her last name? I can't remember. But she waxed a doily and other things and I thought that's cool. I'm gonna try that, so I did. Here's more little pieces and tuck things. Here's a decoupage page. Uh, braille with some cloth collage and more little goodies and bits and pieces uh, ruffles this is taken from um, one of my antique books and I printed that and let's see what we got here wow this is a nice big page braille um, some paper and cloth collage. Here's a little tuck in here. And a little cloth collage on that. Little feather on that tag. I think it came from that bird. Here's a clip with a floating pocket. And it's got belly band on the back and it's got a little uh, hidden pocket there. And that goes right on there with some flowers. Here's some more things. This is from 1905 and some other pieces in there. <clears throat> Here's a couple of little journal cards on there, a trim. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it under 10 minutes. <laughs> and here's all kinds of little goodies in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice. There you go. All right, that is listed up on my Etsy. Go have a look if you're interested. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Sorry I had to speed through that, but realized I was taking too long. So, oh, thank you for all your wonderful comments. And I wish you all the best. And see you next time.